Hello friends, today I am going to give some details about titanium and titanium alloys. Okay, so let's begin. At room temperature, the color of titanium is grey. And at room temperature, titanium is a light metal with a better strength to weight ratio. Which means, at room temperature, titanium is a light metal, titanium is lightweight, titanium has a good strength. Okay. Titanium metals are non-magnetic, which means titanium will not be attracted by the external magnetic field. Titanium have outstanding corrosion resistance against aqueous chloride solutions, sodium hypochlorite, strongly oxidizing acids, moist chlorine gas, seawater and brine solutions. So, titanium has good corrosion resistance and good strength to weight ratio for these two properties titanium is being used in aircraft engine compressors airframe structures and all non aircraft applications generally titanium metals can be welded by gas tungsten arc or plasma arc techniques successful welding of titanium metals depends upon proper cleaning and shielding the titanium are highly reactive with hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen gases due to which the ductility property of titanium will be reduced and brittleness will be increased in titanium. To avoid this increase of brittleness in titanium, the casting process for titanium castings are done in a vacuum. Generally, the casting process used for producing titanium castings are investment mold casting, and graphite mold casting. Many alloys of titanium are available commercially based on their multiple requirements. Okay, the alloys of titanium are of three metallurgical types: alpha, alpha beta, and beta. These three names are derived based on the presence of microstructure at that particular phase. Beta and alpha beta titanium alloys are formed in the soft state and then heat treated for high strength. Alpha beta titanium alloys cannot be easily welded. Titanium and titanium alloys can be subjected to machining process and abrasive process. In machining process and abrasive process, we have to use sharp tools and we have to give continuous feed. Otherwise, the hardness of titanium will increase deliberately. In titanium, tapping operation is difficult because the presence of metal galls. So friends, these are the details about titanium and titanium alloys. I hope you all would have understood. If any doubts are there, please do comment in comment box. And please remember to like this video and don't forget to share this video to all your mechanical friends. Thank you friends.